Hey guys, welcome back. Woo! Butterfly. To, to, to fire watch. There's our fire, we're watching it. Alright, the beer cans are still there. Makes me wonder if what happens if I clean them all up. Will I get like a... Here. I'm gonna take them all. There we go. Give a hoot, don't pollute. The music picked up right at the end of the episode last time, so... Okay, so there should be a trail... Heading to the south, right? Oh, it looks like it's up ahead. Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Looks like it's probably up ahead because there's a rope point over there. It's actually a good way to, I guess, manage that I don't go in the wrong direction. Is this it? Nope. This is just me walking through the woods. Alright, so the trail should turn south somewhere up ahead. Oh, rope hook. There we go. Oh wow, that goes down, doesn't it? How'd the teenagers get down there, though? Well, these are just shale slides, so... You can actually do a scree slide down them. If you're very careful. Actually, this is being quite steep, so maybe not do a scree run. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Oh. Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder. You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. Of course. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Good points. All right. So, we're here, so the trail should just take us right down to the creek, no problem. And there's another cash box up here, where's the smoke gone? I've lost sight of it. Is the sun going down already? Holy shit. Look, they tried to get into it again. Numbers are different where they weren't before. Okay. Welp. What are we looking at this time? We're looking at Jonesy Lake, Chimney Rock Flats. Sure. We're in their country. Yeah, that's the. Oh, missing persons? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Hey. Yeah, well, mine got screwed. All right. Let's read this. Missing person named Mitch Michaels, age 31, height 6'2", weight 165 pounds, hair short brown, identifying features, distinctive facial hair, 
General Info, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 forced by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info, if you've seen, contact them. Please contact the National Forest Service. Okay. All right, sure, I'll take that with me. And is that Teddy Roosevelt? What does that say? There's a delight, uh, trying to read the text. Sure, Teddy Roosevelt, okay. Another frickin' pine cone. Who keeps putting those in here? Oh, well, I guess that's it. Just the pine cones, huh? Endless frickin'. These are really good looking pine cones, I like the way they look. Alright, well, back down to the lake, I guess. Or, well, not lake, where the smoke is. So, yeah, there's a campsite right there. So, I guess we'll just. Follow the trail around. So the trail does disappear. Oh, there it is. Lush woods. Sure. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep, there it is. All right, yeah, so one one root organism. Yeah, I've heard about those kinds of trees before. Man, this lady, like, knows everything. You can just tell her what's, uh, you know, kind of the vague implications of what's around you, and she just knows roughly where you are. Well, I'm not going to see the smoke now because of the sunset. I assume it's the sunset. Jesus, day is kind of short. Looks like I'm getting there, though. Hang on. The river, it eventually... So I'm going to have to cross up here, it looks like. Oh, yep. Right, yeah. Could just follow the river. Oh, wait, there's something up here. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's really high up, too. Oh, we got beer. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Man, my backpack has just got to be full of beer cans. Nice looking waterfall. Alright. Looks like, hang on, where does that roll through? Nope, this is the way. Don't keep up the gear, because you don't want to make it look like you know you don't know where you're going. You gotta be intimidating to these people. Like, you know the backwoods, like, better than they do. So if they try to run, you'll find them. Hunt them down with a machete. And there it is. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Well, you gotta do your job. Yeah, keep. Apparently I can't just... There we go. I mean, my shoes are gonna catch fire. Let's see, what do we got? Teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? Wait. It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Those are my sheets. Ha, ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like... My sheets. Damn it. Uh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, 
it's unclear where they've been. No. Oh. The pants, I mean. Okay. Make up to make out. Top hunks. Ranked and rated. All right, what do we got here? Dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Hunks, hunks, hunks. Tame your hunk. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a ladies' lady, so... These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Alright, well... I'm gonna shit in your p tent here. I'm gonna rip down my pants. That's where the pants have gone. Pants are back? No. Pulling my pants down and shitting in your tent. It's gonna get all over your pillow. I'm gonna smear it. I'm gonna wipe my ass with your pillowcase. Your tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain oh. that scrap I found. There you go. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Good point, actually. Let's see. I mean, it looked fine when I looked at it from this side. There we go. So there's a note. Uh, it looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. All right, dear psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. Well, we only took a bra. I mean, the bra was fine. Your panties are fine. Uh, you're probably mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it's worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. Well, I mean, we only took the bra, but the tent we didn't do, so... Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, I just took the bra. What? Did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? Well, I did destroy no, the stereo. I, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Oh. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo <laughs> in the lake. <laughs> they actually know. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, except what about these... Oh. Well, day three. So something else attacked their camp. I mean, they know I... Oh, there we go. Well, we need more boards. Uh. Oh, downstairs. Of course, I'm gonna go downstairs. Hey, Henry. Yep. Yeah. What's up? Um, what do you look like? What? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, like Burt Reynolds, like Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin. How do you find Raleigh F Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Is the book now still down here? Attention. Okay. Okay, well... That gives me a good start. Now let's see. 
In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. What? It's hot. Oh. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. You mean Caucasian? Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Um, clothes. I don't really think about tuxedos as often as possible. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Hmm, good to know, Dale, yes. <laughs> now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Um, you, I have a thick beard. My nose has been broken. You'll enjoy him. My thin mustache and long scar. Well, I have a thin go. mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across my eye and down my cheek. <laughs> and you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. No. I want to know I'm about not. your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Really? You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Um... Tired. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who supposed just to find looks more tired wood. all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Uh, you're welcome. You oh, get you're... what you need. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking for more wood. Oh, this is a nice place. In my Bond villain. Eh. Uh, okay, let's run around. Let's give her a show. She's spying on me. wonder if she's watching me when I take a shit in the woods. I can do that, apparently. She said I can. All right, I was supposed to find more wood, but uh, where am I supposed to look? Am I actually supposed to, like... No? You just rip up the fence. Anybody using this fence? I'm gonna rip up the fence. That's fine. Maybe I'll just take planks from the uh, base of the fire tower itself. Uh, oh, little flowers. Uh. Oh, wait, what? I saw that. Hang on. No, oh, that was... What? Don't you hate when that happens? Like, you walk up to something, you see some text flash because you happen to mouse over something, but then... Oh, wait, is that... Oh, I can hop over. That's... That's what that is. Okay. I guess this is turn for the water. Cool. Oh, here we go. Guess I just needed. Oh, there's another wood plank right there. It was all. It was all right here. All right, I'm gonna run up the stairs because this doesn't look rickety at all. I mean, the whole place is just coming apart. Actually, it's not. It's pretty solid. All right. Well, um, sure. Demons. Broken window. Sure. Light switch. Let's not waste power while we're out here. I mean, I'm on a generator. Hey, it's Turt Reynolds. Hey, Turt Reynolds. Well, you're a cute little guy, aren't you? Here, I'll uh, put. Well, okay, I'll just throw you in there. That's 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 fine. Oh, I've got uh tools. Okay. Apparently, I'm writing something. What am I writing? These actually. I think today's going to be normal, although Delilah. There's like notes. Am I keeping notes? 
Got another fucking pine cone. They're just fucking everywhere. And even in the plates. My plates are clipped. Okay. Well, I tried to board them up just a second ago. Come on. Oh, there we go. I had to pixel it right. And I am awesome with a hammer. I just hit those. I just hit each of those nails. One time. Hit <laughs> it. Dink. Damn, what am I? Karate kid on this here. Amazing. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. All right, ready to work. So, uh, oh, did I get my sheets back or are those just, no, looks like it's just the old mattress. I got my sheets back. Oh, desk drawer. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Look, this is all I have to do in a fire tower because there's nothing else to do. Got the mug. And the forest service. Oof. Clean that baby out. Oof. Just shake it all around. Ugh, damn it. All right, ready to work. Well, I guess things are gonna normalize. Hey, uh, Turt Reynolds, we're just gonna watch for fire. And I guess that's gonna be all for now, so I wanna thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.